Oh my God, I took my braids out and I like it. I don't even know if I'm gonna wash it. I just took them out so fast and I recorded a whole tutorial on how to take your box braids out fast. Hey y'all, so I started taking down my braids and I realized I told y'all I was gonna so show y'all some hacks to take your braids down faster and then I just didn't, I just didn't. <laughs> But I didn't want to leave y'all hanging, so I'm just going to show you. Like, I'd rather show you at least than not show you at all. So, first thing you need to do, find your hair where it's at. My hair is pretty long, so it's low-key kind of hard. But normally where your hair starts coming out, you see it's coming out of the braid. So, I would just clip somewhere around there because I just know my hair has grown and I'm starting to see, I'm gonna just clip it down here just to be safe, but we'll peek through where my hair actually is. Now, the trick to take your braids down super easy is to, instead of like picking at it and taking a comb down the center, literally, I have nails as well. So this is how you know it's a good hack. So you find one end and another end and you just pull two of the ends and then it will quickly unravel right and then you straighten that out find two more ends and you just keep doing that until the whole braid is out and it happened it goes by so much more faster than the normal way um especially on bigger braids but and especially when your braider is like neat with keeping the three strands the same the whole way down the braid that helps <clears throat> that helps a lot with the unraveling process when you're pulling on two ends so make sure you pick a good braider to begin with oh speaking of good braider my sister literally messaged me right now she said oh i love you too <laughs> how funny <laughs> how fitting I have to give you guys a story time on how like the law of attraction and the universe be having me shook every time. Like it's actually insane. Like the things you think about you bring about in real life. See, y'all see my hair? I'm glad I didn't cut right there. <laughs> but y'all, I'm like a master manifester. It's so crazy. Like what? Okay. I don't think that was my hair. See, it's kind of hard to tell actually because <laughs> because with um what am I even trying to say with ombre hair I like got it to blend with my color and then it gets lighter at the ends so that's where it kind of gets hard to know where your braid ends or not ends but yeah this way is so much faster than just picking at it and getting the hair tangled and all that jazz so Definitely just pull two ends and do that the whole way up. That's like the fastest thing to do, I promise. And the cool part about it is when you're pulling two strands the whole time, instead of like picking through it and combing through it, um, your braid pattern stays more consistent. So if you wanted to wear a braid out when you were done, you technically can, it's like the perfect braid out because you still have like the perfect ripples for the most part you know but yeah i just pull it the whole time and then i straighten it out and pull two more my old old childhood best friend candace phillips taught me this trick when we all used to get our hair braided as little kids we would take our braids down and i'm like how the heck is you almost done like what the heck are you doing what the heck and she taught me this as little girls and ever since then i never went back to doing my braids the regular way by the way, she actually has her own business now. She has like a boutique. Um, I'm gonna be purchasing some stuff from her so I can show you guys and support a black owned business, you dig? So look, we're getting to the top. Now, this is another thing I wanted to mention when taking out your braids. When it's time to wash your hair, don't just immediately take your braids down and, ho and hop in the shower and shampoo your hair. What you need to do is take see how long my hair is what you do is you see this ball here you need to break that up before you wet your hair down because if you don't 
it's gonna cause a lot of matting i don't know why that is but it just will because it's just like debris and oils and product and shed hair so you need to make sure you completely break up that little ball because if you wet your hair with those little balls in it your hair will be so much harder to detangle so make sure you break up that little ball basically just finger detangle that single braid right then and there when you take it out then by the time you're done you won't have that much of a process to do another thing i do when i'm completely done with my hair is um this when i'm completely done taking out a braid i'll like stretch it out like this to get rid of any shed hair because when you're washing your hair in the shower you don't want all that old shed hair to get down in your drain but just in case make sure you have a bottle of drano on standby because we're not trying to have clogged sinks or baths you know what i'm saying so get all the shed hair out and don't think that your hair is like falling out and it's shedding oh my god like these braids are horrible no our hair as human beings naturally sh sheds about a hundred strands a day so think about that i've had these braids in for a month and our hair naturally sheds a hundred strands a day so a hundred times 31 how many pieces of strands is that you know so your hair is not shedding your hair is not falling out the braids didn't break off your hair it's just natural shed hair unless your stylist gripped your shit so goddamn tight that your follicle has like tension alopecia or whatever it's called then that's something you know where you could say that your hair is falling out because your stylist pulled it too tight if you're noticing your stylist braiding your hair too tight to where you feel like something is off you need to let them know right then and there as they're gripping the braid right then and there because at once it's tight it's tight once it's in there it's in there and you don't have to take that down to not get tension alopecia to get permanent balding in your edges so make sure if you feel that they're braiding really tight be like hey you know i'm not trying to risk this condition or that condition or i really love my edges like i feel like this is a little bit too tight another thing your stylist can do to not braid so tight is to take edge control mold the braid into its section with edge control and a comb that way your hair will already be laying in the direction in which they're going to braid it and then when they add the hair and grip the hair everything's already in the spot it needs to be because of the edge control which will allow them to not have to pull so hard on your hair and your follicles and stuff so if they can't get the message you need a new stylist if they're not willing to do the edge control method and just make your life easier then you need a new stylist if your stylist is braiding too tight and you love your edges you need a new stylist go get one or let them know if you love them and you want to keep seeing them so i'm going to time lapse finish the rest of my hair and then give you guys a look at what it is what was what's going on uh, the rest of it's in the bun but I have noticed a lot of new growth, which is like so cool. <laughs> Look at all that new growth, guys. So, time lapse, here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Yay. No more braids. <laughs> oh my God. Our braids is out. No, 
now I got my hair back. Now I got my hair back. I got my hair back. <laughs> I scared Winter. I didn't even know she was right there. My bones is crackling. <laughs> Yay. Whoa. It look like I got balayage, huh? Wow. I got my hair back. I got my hair back. I got my hair back. <laughs> Yay. I'm so happy. Oh my God. Low key though, this is a mat, like making me think me with curly hair would be cute. Should I try a wash and go? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Oh my gosh, a wash and go? Should I try defining my curls for the first time, like ever? Because I've never done that. <laughs> wow, a wash and go would be cute. Or a braid out. Wow. Whoa, yo. I feel like I need to try a wash and go now. Oh my God, it looks so good. I think I'm gonna wear it like this for a while. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play in my hair for a couple hours. I don't think I'm gonna wash this out. my bones crack so much yo i would look bomb with a wash and go or a braid out at least my hair is big as fuck 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 wow this looks tight i need to do a photo shoot or something wow have i been sleeping on braid outs I think I have been sleeping on braid outs because low key, <laughs> low key, wow, shook it. Let's see if her middle part, curly hair with a middle part, which one looks better? Middle part. I think I like it better on the side. Let's look at this side. Oh, the side is giving. Or maybe it's just the layers that's making me give. You see how it's like, boom, boom, boom. It feels, yeah, I think it's the layers. Not necessarily that it's the side. Let me see. hair y'all like <laughs> wow I'm gonna take some pictures I'll be back <laughs> Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. 